everybody. My name is Mode, and I live in Canmore here. I work with Parks my Canada. And so the first mm -hmm. six years that I have with my children, I just did uh, walking and biking around town with the chariot. Mm -hmm. um, nothing for myself, really. So after six years, I, I didn't really know where I was at. And I wanted to, I had a limited amount of time and I went to see you for an assessment so that we could mm -hmm. pinpoint exactly what I needed to work on. And so I wouldn't waste my time in the gym doing things that uh, wouldn't serve me necessarily. Um, and I had some goals to get better at running. I wanted to do some races and I, that's why. I tried some cookie cutter. I think it was more like bodybuilding sort of gym workouts and didn't really like that. That was a whole lot of repetition of very simple movements and, and mm -hmm. realized that um, yeah, that, was, that wasn't serving me very well. And then I would do like a little bit of my own things that I'd learned over the years, but I, I had a sense that it wasn't what I needed and it wasn't targeting what I needed specifically. Yeah, one of the first thing you told me, you said, we need to make you more springy tighter <laughs> I think um, that's I knew you and I knew you had a great reputation and I also I think what's important to me is that you really care like I felt like um, you know you're a fun person to go to and and I knew I was gonna get great support and it, it felt like you it, it mattered to you whether I would improve or not right as a mm -hmm. Just training me, get the money in the bank, go, you know. For me, I see big improvement in strength and endurance, and that comes from I think the hallmark of your programs is really I've had great results over across all my sports. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just like solid. I feel like I have a really solid foundation. Mm -hmm. And that has improved, you know, my agility, my you know, um, endurance power everything really you know like i can go up in the mountains and it's enjoyable i'm not like suffering up this mm -hmm. hill i'm you know, the bounciness i think mm -hmm. yeah especially going uphill having these light light feet and then mm -hmm. you know a lot of um bounce in my movement mm -hmm. i enjoy that and it, it feels so much more efficient mm -hmm. um and also i think once my body gets tired, um, then I can rely on my core. I can, you know, like remember to, you know, stack my, my upper body and, and engage my core more, my bum. And then that gives me some extra, extra energy, you know, extra mm -hmm. time before I, I need to stop. Um, and I would say too, on the downhill, um, lots more agility, lots more confidence. Uh, right. Just because you know, I can I can make rapid correction and movements. Um, um, to start with, I love how your warm ups are. That's something that I never did that way before, and because the first two three movements are just about getting your body to move and getting your body ready to work. So that mm -hmm. concept was, is really from you for me. Um, and I love that. And it, it, it helps huge with motivation because you know that you're going to the gym, but you're gonna have a few movements to just, you know, get into it and be prepared to to um, to work harder. And that's huge, I find, like mentally. Mm -hmm. um, and physically too, it feels so much better. And then the fun of it, <laughs> because all your movements are, kind of a combination of different movements. So there's a bit of a challenge there. Um, you know, it really gets your brain working and mm -hmm. you feel super efficient because you're thinking, wow, I'm doing like three movements in one. <laughs> <laughs> so that keeps me motivated, um, mm -hmm. you know, to have some fun movements to do. Mm -hmm. Also the fact that you're, maybe because, you know, all every movement is so packed, your workouts are not overly long. So it's, mm -hmm. it's easy to fit that in a schedule. It's like, okay, an hour and I'm out of there. I can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then sometimes I'm a bit the clown of the, you know, depending on what you have me do. <laughs> of the <laughs> gym and I let's, um, well, I'm always interested in doing 
longer days in the mountains or stacking them you know like mm -hmm. uh, the more the stronger my body gets uh then i'm thinking i'm hoping i can do a bigger traverse like backcountry ski traverse where you know it's going to be a significant uh gain um in height every day so yeah. now it's not just one day you go home you rest it's like okay boom next day next day uh so i need i want to feel good i don't want to be feeling trashed the next day you know wondering mm -hmm. am i gonna <laughs> make it to the end of the day